Voices, a play in one act by Hortens Flexner. I heard a voice that called across the wind. A voice? My thoughts were prayers. What vision I have seen, no words have said. The dead. Their souls are strange upon the air and cannot find the way to paradise. Perhaps they spoke. Or cannon far away. Oh, no. Alas. And did you live in Domremy? Before they came... But now the great shells have not left a house, not one. Even the church, Joan's church, in which she heard the angel speak, is broken to the ground. Joan dwelt once in a prison far from home. There was a day. Ah, oh, well, she can forgo the church. But no, we will rebuild it stone by stone. There is no villager shall rest till it is whole. There's better work to do for Joan than build a church. And let her think we have forgot again, or that we are afraid. It was so long ago, and now... But Joan is Doremi! We think of her as if she had not died. In early spring we make a pageant, every spring for Joan, to show her as a girl, here where she lived, and heard the voices first. A shepherd girl, in clothes like these, like yours. I was a maid last May. You, Joan, and rode a charger too, in armour like a man's. And were you mocked until you crowned the king that day at Reims, thrown in a cell and burned all in the play? You saw it then. Perhaps you lived nearby. Nearby. And are you coming now to find the things the soldiers have not battered to a ruin? Not I. Nor I. What then? A hidden relic in the church? I should not seek for that in Domremy. The one I wore so many years for luck about my throat I gave the lad who played Joan's lover in the fate. Relic and lad are buried in a ditch behind Arras. How should I know? And so you came? I came to pray to Joan of Arc. Trudged all the way through blood and mire. To pray her come again. They say she hears when May is young and that her spirit flies close, close to Dogmami, when leaves are new and tender things are born. You'd have her come. Is there not strife enough? France has good friends and all the kings are crowned. Joan of Arc would make an end of war. She'd stop the guns. When she was just a girl, alone and mock, she took a sword and flashed it through the land until she pressed the foe upon the sea. And would she not today? Shall one love France a less for being safe in paradise? Poor Joan. It was a miracle. I don't know. She was so young, so slight, but all her soul burned as a torch. A spirit lies in Joan to wake the dead. If she should come, we could not wait and wait, gain here, lose there, hide in the trenches, wait and drag the war to years. Oh, she would show the way. No girl this time, but saint, she'd draw her sword. No, no. Joan of Arc without a sword. Without a sword. It was her strength. She, she saw it in a dream. Joan had her soul before she had the sword. A soul against the guns. It is the only thing they may not break. But who would know Joan of Arc without her sword? Hush. She will weep in paradise for that. I love her. She hates her sword. You dare. She carried it the day they crowned the king. The day she failed. Poor Joan. She, 
he did not know. A peasant girl must never crown a king, nor fight his foes. If she had known, if she had only known. But Joan did know. A spirit showed the way. She would have struck the king there as he knelt and killed him with her sword. It was her sin she did not kill the king. He was the foe of France. All kings are foes of all the men they rule. How else should they send men to death for little things? What that a king can fear is worth the death of one, one peasant lad who loves the sky. Joan was no saint. She was a shepherd girl who did not know how things would come to pass. The voices spoke. Oh, yes, the voices. Better had she heard her pitying heart. Joan was a soldier maid. Her pitying heart was but the girl. It was herself, the most of her, the flame. And it shall lead when she shall come again. A pitying heart, the leader of a host. Yes, yes, a pitying heart. And what host then? A host of pitying hearts, which kings shall fear more than defeat and death. It is a dream. As mine, a dream. The voices were not more. If that were true, Joan would be here today, and my prayer heard. An army kings shall fear, a silent host, scattered, bereft, mourning at broken hearthstones in all lands, hating one thing, a hate that makes them kin, stronger than blood and bone, the hate of death, which is their love of life. These Joan shall lead, the brooding ones who give in grief and tears, knowing so well the end, the raw earth mound that's left where kings have passed. These Joan shall find. Women of France. Women of all the earth shall be Joan's strength, and she shall go to them in peasant clothes, a maid. And where she finds a woman at her toil, she'll stop and say, Would you have back your dead? And by their answer they shall follow Joan, until her army, swelling like a flood, pours down the earth undammed. What can the kings build up against this tide? The woe and rage, impatience and despair of all the withheld women of all years, borne down on them at last. What can they do? If men, no longer mad, but grim with agony and blood and death, leap from the trenches, break the mighty guns, and with the women turn their faces home. Oh, in that hour the puny kings shall see, as some great mountain blotting out the sun, the shadow of our wrath, and no defeat, all kings alike, but people shall be free. Joan and the women? When? She was a peasant girl. A peasant girl? Voices. It was the maid herself. I am afraid. In Voices, the part of Yvonne was played by Megan Lopez, and The Voice by Stephanie Campion. Music by Keith Crawford. Little Wonder Technical Team are Keith Crawford, Owen Roberts, and Chris Taylor. Little Wonder. Mine by Keith Crawford. What the hell are you going on about King Arthur? We just had a 6.5 scale earthquake in Nottingham. Mex Arms said Royal Engineers. That was explosives. I'm sorry, guy. But there's no way out. A total fucking psycho. I'm trapped down here with a total King Psycho.
Is it time? Is it time? Little Wonder Hi, I'm Keith, director of Little Wonder Radio Plays. If you could just take a moment to like, leave a comment or a five-star review, or most importantly, to share our work on whatever social media platform you prefer, it will help other people like you to find us. Thanks for your time. We hope you enjoyed the show and come visit us at littlewonder.website.